great week so far. Um, as far as my, my eating, I mean, I don't know if I, if I mentioned it last week, but this week I did, uh, I did another fruit fast. Because, uh, you know, after the, the Christmas break or winter break, whatever you want to call it, um, I didn't feel good. You know, I just didn't feel good. I felt just heavy. Like, you know, like my body was really heavy, sort of, sort of sluggish. So um, I was, you know, just kept thinking, thinking, I'm like, I, I haven't been on a fruit fast in a while. And because, uh, you know, even though I was on a fast, but it was like, I don't know, I guess that fruit just take it to a whole different level. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I mean, you know, just eating that fruit, it makes you feel energized. Um, I don't know, it just makes me feel clean. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I sleep well, I sleep very well um, when, I, when I'm on the uh, fruit fast. So yeah, that was, that was um, good this week. I only did it for three days. I, I need to push that though. I want to do like four or five days um, or even, even more, but um, I don't know. I, I just haven't gotten to that, that point yet. You know, at three days, like, I guess at like day two, <laughs> the end that like that night, like I start craving all the, the things that I normally eat. So I don't know. It gets kind of tough there at the end, but you know, one day, <laughs> one day I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna be healed and, and delivered from just eating the same foods that I eat all the time, you know? So yeah, that's something that I'm that I'm really um, happy about for this week, you know. And then um, since then, I have um, you know just been sticking to my calorie count. I haven't been doing one meal a day though. I've been doing um, like two, like two, yeah. Cause um, I don't eat when I get home. Like I'm done eating right around between twelve thirty and two o'clock, whatever you know break period. I can uh, you know squeeze in some time to eat. So. Yeah, that's that's just what it's been. But like I said, it's been a good week and, and I'm thankful and appreciative definitely for that, you know, for the opportunity to just to be successful. You know, it, it feels it feels really good. <laughs> even um even today though, I did um I saved my calories so I can have pizza after school. So I went to Ann Pizza and, and got pizza um, there today. But like I said, I'm still sticking to my calorie count, still feel good, you know, feel good about what I'm doing. So like I said, it's, it's good times, it's good times. I was thinking back to uh, whether or not I had any regrets uh, over, I'm gonna say 2023. Like I said, I don't really look at New Year until um, like March, April, you know, when the springtime. So right now, you know, just thinking and, and looking back over, you know, what was 2023, um, I, you know, I was thinking about, did I have any regrets? And I think one regret that I, I can say that I have is that I haven't really committed to, um, eating high quality food, you know, nutritious food, foods that promote health like I, like I should have, you know, I feel like I should be at a whole other or whole nother level with it, but it's here. It's to me, it's like, it's so hit or miss, so hit or miss, you know, I, I'm thank you. I'm thankful for the hits, but you know, the, the misses is just like, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's like a level of immaturity or, or lack of commitment or lack of, um, of being responsible or responsible yeah responsible we're like being responsible so i don't know i think i don't know <laughs> i'm scared to even like really say that i'll make a, a new commitment to it um i don't know i, I think I don't, i'm gonna have to keep thinking about that i'm gonna have to keep thinking about that so i, I just gotta have my, my mind made up my mind set by march april you know um, but yeah, that is one, one regret that I, I haven't made the commitment like I should have. Like, um, I still eat the things that, you know, that I, I like, which I feel like is important to me. Um, and, and I will continue to, but it's like, I want more of a commitment. Like I said, I went on a three day fruit fast. Maybe it doesn't have to be that extreme, but just like the bulk of my food being, you know, vegetables and, and fruit. Um, and, and just things that are healthy for me, healthy grains. Um, so those, those are two things that I definitely would like to, I'm um, sorry, that is one thing that I would definitely like to uh, change 
um, you know, it's, it's on my mind. Like I said, I, I don't want to say right now that I'll commit to it. I will, I'll look at it. I'll look at, yeah, I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll commit to making a plan to look at it. You know, um, preparing like menus, food items that I will eat um, in abundance, vegetables that I'll eat in abundance. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. That's what I'll commit to. Just making the plan. That's what I'm make the plan. So, and then I know if I make the plan, I'm more than likely gonna stick to it because I took time to to make the plan. So right now, I can commit to making the plan. <laughs> this morning, I put a post up uh, on Facebook. It was about uh, the Bitcoin ETF being approved by the SEC, and um, someone commented. Actually, only one person commented, but that, that's fine. You know, that's neither here nor there. Um, my goal when I post stuff is to, um, post something that's of value, you know, and so then sometimes I like to laugh about stuff too, and, you know, make fun of, of the Washington commanders because they're horrible. <laughs> I, I like to do that. But, um, like I was saying, you know, I, I posted about the Bitcoin ETF and someone commented and, um, she said that, um, you know, we've been trying to tell people since 2018. You know, and, and that is true. And it's so, I don't know, like fascinating to me in a, but not in a, in a good way. It's fascinating or like my grandmother would say, that's remarkable, <laughs> you know, but not in a good way. And I knew whenever she said that it wasn't a good thing. It wasn't the best thing. Um, so, and why I'm saying that is because so many people, my family members, close friends or whatever, didn't listen or don't listen, you know? So it's like, you could have been stacking your, your Bitcoin over these years. And I, and I, I was telling and tell people all the time, you don't even have to buy a lot. You can buy a dollar's worth. You can buy $5 worth. You can buy $10 worth. You can buy a hundred dollars worth. You can buy a thousand dollars worth. You can buy a whole Bitcoin, which right now, last time I looked today, it was like $47,000. So um, you know, I'm not placing any limits on anybody. You can buy two whole Bitcoins if you want. But my point is, and, and, I, and I try to emphasize this, just be buying. Just continue buying. You can set it up. You can set it up where it's automatically, um, you know, taking your money is taken from your account to, to buy your purchase or make your purchase. Um, just like with any other investment account, you know, you can set that money up to be automatically deposit so you can deposit it so even with, with bitcoin you can do a dollar a day i'm sorry you can deposit daily you can deposit weekly you can deposit monthly you know there there's ways that you can do it so i mean this is not financial advice but it was just you know i'm sharing with my family what what i do you know what i do so and just seeing it now that it that it's approved so that means, you know, people's investments, investment money, you know, retirement funds and all that kind of stuff. So if Bitcoin is available in there, people are going to want to buy Bitcoin. They're going to want to buy it. And then that's just going to continue and make the price of, of Bitcoin go up. So, I mean, it just is what it is, you know, and, and I just, um, and I just hope everybody finds something that they, or somebody that they're willing to listen to and and get it in the game because if your dollars are just sitting around they're they aren't increasing so they're actually losing value just because of inflation so that's all that's all i had to say about that but i am happy that the um bitcoin etf was approved um just more validation you know for that for that space so i spoke with my publisher today and um, you know, she was letting me know that there's only a few minor changes that um, are being made with my book, but so for the most part, it's ready. She she has the first copy of it, you know, um, minus, you know, then it's going to be minus those few changes that, that we made. So I'm looking for that within the next week or two. Hopefully, you know, that'll be done like expeditiously, like soon, ASAP. <laughs> Um, so, but it's, it's just, I don't know, that is, it's still, that is surreal to me. Like just to know that, wow, I, I have a book. There's a book that I wrote. If you knew like just where I, I started from, you know, that's, I'm just thinking about that little, I remember my life being a little girl on the street called Arnett street in the neighborhood that I grew up on, grew up in, sorry. And, um, 
I don't know. I just never thought it was possible. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. Even having gone to college and, you know, having what, three degrees, basically close to four actually degrees, um, having done all that, still never thought of myself being a published author. It's sort of more set up more like a daily devotional. Um, and I think it's very uh, educational and it's also very practical and I, and I did try to put things in terms you know that the average everyday person could could understand and relate to and even um, you know the stories that are told in the book um, that they are stories that people can relate to find themselves in yeah relate to it in that way if you find yourself or somebody that you know something that you want to avoid doing but it, it is about it's not about food it's not about food it's actually about um, money so I'll share about the markets and um, just the basic things of, of organizing your finances and, and, you know, not spending all that you have. So, yeah, it's exciting, exciting times, exciting times. This is uh, 2024, so 2024 is my year. <laughs> That's my year. <laughs>